Okay, so assuming a train's coming from here. I don't like how that looks. That's good. Okay. We bring a train in above. We want to make sure that's above the bus. The bus is way way down here, so we're good. They're not using the little bridge I made. I just saw the enemies on the screen. Still coming to right here. I guess I'll it's overkill, but And you don't have power. There we go. Interesting. Are they already over here? You can't build walls and we'll just attack that, so. I don't know. Oh, oh, now they went around. Maybe they need just a little bit more space on the path. Breaking Force 4. Back to the stone train. The stone train comes from the right or the left. Probably going to have it join onto this same track here and have Blitz become a stop off the track. Which means we'll want to add more land just below it here. This train needs to come across. I guess if we have it mined and then brought up above it, the train could come to the left. Up, left, up. Kind of avoiding this iron patch. It's two million iron right there. We can get from elsewhere. It's a corpse. It's a cliff. And the train could also come out that far if we wanted to build out there too. So looking at the map, we, I might want the train to come down and across right about where I'm standing here. Lifts two. Gotta be careful not to use the deconstruct planner over anywhere where we have like power lines and stuff. Tree deconstruct planner for all that, and then actual deconstruct planner will help with cliffs. If this comes straight across here. We can load the train here. Robots are gonna have to take care of this. Let's take all that out. It's gonna take a minute. And 
we'll get dropped. Coal on the ground? Oh, maybe they broke rocks that had coal in it? I guess. in my pockets if I accidentally pick them up. I never want fish. Mm. Honestly, you could take gear wheels back too if they're ever being made for something other than... or if they're ever left over from a recipe that I cancelled. So we plan this to have four main output rows. space of two and then put in substations. That's two. So many of these. It's three main rows. So good, we only need four. Where's the nearest power? Way up here. Yeah, I guess we'll bring it down along like this. I would like to have kind of an overwatching robo port here. We will put it here. Because it's being powered by the substation. But we will need to connect it to the others. Yeesh. Keep these on the grid. Down one more or over one more? Let's let's go over. Even though we're kind of where I'd like for the train to be. Uh, 
powered already. Nice. Through the trees. So maybe we realign where that one is down there, just based off of where these ended up. We keep it to the grid. Another benefit is that they're going to bring the other drills and refill our inventory. Okay, so let's get a loading situation here. Six. Four to six like this. You can have the train. Let's get on the map. The train came in above here. Yeah, that's kind of where we planned. Down and across through that. Yeah, so we're like right here. Load that. Something got destroyed. What? Robots. You guys. Flying across here. Because they don't need to come down through here that often, but that's kind of kind of a shame. Deliver me some more train tracks, please. Oh, you're bringing them to the ground. Bring some to me. Nobody's bringing them to me. Oh, we took them out of here a while back. the tree? Oh, there's a tree. We had cleared everything out except for one tree. So the stop here is going to be a little higher. Don't extend that out too high and then with a stop and then we can pull it back oh. so 
We want them to stop there. Good. This one called Conj. We'll leave it until we get somebody else. Stone Train's only going to be... Well, Stone Train might be four wide. But we're only going to load up the back two. Or at least here's the front. So the front two. And then we'll have like maybe two more. Or maybe six. If you can carry six. I don't like running that close to the train track. Let's clear some of these trees out. We need to be able to pull forward enough that if we had four cars, two of them would pass this. I don't like that. It's already misaligned. it over the last second. Shame. I mean, it still looks kind of cool, though. They took them all away. Good, okay. So if we're unloading two though, I guess we could do this a little bit differently. We could do to into that. but something like that. Bring me 
locomotives. And cargo wagons. We never did make a vehicle. We don't need fluid wagons yet. So I want to go here. You'll get fuel back at the other place. We'll then take some coal. Of one cargo wagon. So I can go ahead and tag it on, but it's not going to be getting anything yet. So theoretically, this uh, stone train then would continue down to the one in the bottom right, and we'd use those two cars for that. We'll uh, extend to that later. For now, just let these keep, keep filling up. You bring me my train parts? I know we make them. Now that we blew through this, this wall's useless. These my train parts coming. They're still carrying stone. Is there just that much stone in storage? them to me already and I didn't even notice. Haha. <laughs> okay. So the tracks above us. Three more cars on the track. Another engine. One, two, three. There they go. They're starting to load up. The other engine goes on the end here. You get that fuel. What is this one called? Nishiki. Go to Kanj. More breaking force. You go to Kanj, but wait until you're inactive for five seconds. So wait until you're essentially full, but on the two that are being loaded. Then you come back to Nikishi. Same deal, five seconds. Except up here, you can also come back if you're empty. You're facing the wrong way. Really? Kept your programming though, that's good. you'd have to wait for the five seconds of inactivity, but I guess only when you get back. We're empty-ish. 
I've got to set up uh, coal fueling for down here, or for the the other side too. Make sure you're waiting. Nice, okay. Perfect. This will continue down later. Oh, you're filling up fast. So we're going to put one of these in the right spot to fill up this one. A little odd. Yeah, this is um, it's Factorio. It is a game where you are alone on an alien planet. Crash landed, I believe is the story. And um, the only thing you have with you is your very advanced suit. And you have to mine and industrialize this planet in order to make a rocket to uh, send up satellites to call for help. And that's the end game condition. But as you can see, as you start building and industrializing the planet, you put down um, conveyor belts and factories and things like that to make more and more advanced pieces till eventually, you know, you're turning the whole thing into almost a circuit board. You have refineries, you have logic circuits being made, all to make more and more complex things. And then uh, you make these little science flasks that all culminate in, let's see here, research. Our research is up here. You send all your science up to research stations and then they gradually research various technologies for you to unlock. So we're more than halfway uh, to the end state. I just uh, put down this train here to go and pick up stone for us and bring some back because the resources near our base are starting to dwindle a little bit, so we wanted to I wanted to make sure that we have a way to expand that out. So this stone that's being mined down here is being loaded into the train. We've set up the logic for the train. Uh, once it's full or once it's sitting there for five seconds inactive, then it goes back to the base. Super fun game. Um, I've played it for maybe five years off and on. I've got about I've only got about two hundred. So we can hop in the train here real quick without getting run over. Uh, I've got about 250 hours in it, um, but I played through the game like three times. Maybe this might be my fourth time. Um, but then I would go like a year or two in between, and the game's still getting updates. It's still technically not the final release. It's been an early access. It's one of those stories, though, of a game that's really good that has been in early access for forever. There we go. So that'll fuel... These will call for coal, and those will fuel the trains when they are. And then we can set up more to be able to be unloaded here. In fact, let's go ahead and put that down. Let's say it'll look like that. Stream's having a fit. Is it uh, is it choppy because of all the like the pixels on the screen and stuff. I'm not showing any drop frames on this side. Let's put this balancer down a little lower. Pick this one up. These were to come together. Oh, you know what we could do? We could turn this. Oh, you think it's on your end? Sorry to hear that. 
I know that uh, with the pixels and the retro look, sometimes it could be a little hard to see or read the smaller text on the screen. I'll try to stay a little close in on the character too so you can kind of see what's going on. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We can do that. Bring that in some, but we still want to probably combine these. This out and down, and then these two will be later additions. But our stone does appear to be fully saturated because it's moving very slowly off the belt here, so we're good. These will add in later. Let's get another substation in here to power that. So if we pick up more stone in the back too, they will uh, they'll add in here. Train will just keep going back and forth. We don't use this, but let's uh, let's reformulate how we're doing this here too, because the whole reason we pulled up four four belts off of this was. Uh, so we can send it in four different directions. So we have one that needs to go straight across here. Also, this stone is coming out of nowhere. This stone should just go... I'll just put it into the middle of the balancer. <laughs> That'll work. So we need to send... One, let's start with this top row here. Cross. And then two need to go down into here. Let's do this a little bit differently. It's so like one will come from here down to there. And then one will come from here down to here, then we'll redo our landfill production. Personally don't like slow burns, but also don't like pew pew shooties, so I play a lot of Red Dead and story based games. I go back and forth, I find that uh, I've been really inspired to do more variety streaming of different stuff, and I do, I do go back and forth. Should probably pick a certain day of the week to do different genres. That way, uh, the audience knows what to expect <laughs> on what day. But uh, but yeah, um, I like a little bit of both. All right, our concrete production. Once we start putting down more concrete, that's going to pick back up and start using a lot of this stone. Let's redo how we're looking at this. Well, yeah, let's grab all this. It's a lot of landfill in our pocket. You're not needed anymore. Oh, we ran out of space. Okay. Let's say you can go away and you two can go away. Nope, nope, not you. Just that one. There we go. We'll free up some inventory space in a sec, but for right now, now that we have this new space down here, let's bring this straight down. Ooh, you know what? Let's uh, let's actually do it a little bit more to the right here. Yeah, I would say that this is a bit of a slow burn, but like there's always something to do. And there's stuff that comes up constantly where you're like, oh, that ran out. I need to go improve that. So it's much more like logic driven. Um, and there is action. There is uh, we've kind of well, we've kind of defended ourselves well. This is Doug. But there are these monsters out here that uh, get sick from the pollution, and so they send waves to come and attack you. You can kind of see some of their bases out here. 
we don't really have much action going on right now. We've we've defended ourselves pretty well. We've set up walls with laser turrets. We've cleared them out. We went on a run earlier all down through this southeastern section of the continent here. Is that oil? One spot of oil down here. Um, and just wiped them out. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere you could see on radar. Just the ground worms are kind of showing up right now. They'll pop up and spit acid at you, but yeah, here we go. Here's some biters. They're kind of resting right now, but they'll kind of grow in waves and then eventually, um, once they get pissed off enough from the pollution, they'll start flooding in your direction. So let's, let's use some assembly machine threes for this. Oof, they take... We do need to ask for some level one efficiency modules, or speed modules rather, to be brought to us to construct those. Here they come. Okay, I'm thinking six of these to start out. You said, I think you should try Red Dead. It made me cry at the end. I did uh, play Red Dead. I played it when it came out last year on the PlayStation, and I agree. That that was my game of the year. I love that game. I got it on PC. Um, I have some VODs that you can check out on my channel too here or on YouTube uh, where I've played with mods. I'm waiting for some really good mods to come out because if, you, if, if the mod scene does to Red Dead what it did to Grand Theft Auto, I think we're going to have some really fun stuff come out in the next few weeks or months. Could take a little bit of time. Um, but I'm really waiting for some fun stuff to come out there because I love Red Dead. We did uh, we did a playthrough of about two or three episodes of the beginning of the game when the PC edition came out last month. Um, but we kind of hit a snag when uh, the autosave had been turned off. So I've got to replay like an hour to get us back where we were at. So that's on hiatus right now. Like these six. Oh, what was required for landfill? Was it just the rocks? Yeah, it's just stone. Hmm. So I'm thinking from here. Is that we load these, we do a speed load with three stack inserters each. Well, I don't know, that might completely tear through the conveyor belt. Little Odd says, if I had a PC, I would play it for you, but I don't. Yeah, no worries. The PC version, like, it looks beautiful, as expected. The PlayStation version looked great too. So what I'm thinking here is we use stack inserters to pull out of here into biter chests. I don't know if this can keep up. Are they bring in more? Yeah, here they come. Yeah, I want to see all three of these going. Oh, geez. We need two lines of stone just on this one. PC runs worse, though. It can, definitely. If you turn the graphic settings all the way up, um, depending on the PC that you have. But if you have a capable PC, then it can run even better. Let's shift this over. Okay, 
here's what I'm thinking. I think we take one of these just for landfill production. Output priority left and see what happens. This is being fed in, so this is still gonna, these are still gonna get fed. These take so quickly. Honestly, yeah, we just can't. It's not sustainable to have like more than two. Let's pick all this back up. On PS4, I've never crashed or experienced a major glitch. Yeah, and that's one of the benefits of console uh, gaming is that uh, the game could be hand um, or it can be customized before it's released to have the perfect settings and everyone has the same hardware, everyone has the same settings. Whereas with PCs, they're so different. Um, you know, a lot of people have different graphics cards, different processors, so it's a lot, I could imagine, it's a lot more difficult to um, to set that up appropriately. Uh, both for the user and also uh, for the uh, the programmers when they're initially, uh, you know, setting up the default settings and everything, they have to pre be prepared for like all these different brands of graphics cards and processors and everything. So that's, that's one reason why I love gaming on console and um, each have their own pros and cons and I'm uh, privileged enough to be able to have a PC and a console. Not everyone, you know, uh, has that luxury, um, but as a, uh, a variety gamer of someone who likes like, all different types of genres, I do really appreciate being able to um, play each one in its best case scenario. Red Dead on console was probably the best case scenario for that one. Same with uh, a lot of the other Sony exclusives. Um, that one's not. That one wasn't Sony exclusive, but a lot of the ones that happen to be Sony exclusives, like, um, uh, like Last of Us, which the second of that one's coming out soon. I'm definitely gonna play that on PlayStation. Um, yeah. Um, God of War, which I still need to play the new one. It won Game of the Year, but my Game of the Year was Red Dead. Uh, the Spider-Man for PlayStation. That was a great game. Catch a ride, catch a ride. I think we may go ahead and set up the, the mine for the other two cars. Looks like the top here is full because it didn't completely unload. Oh, we got out. <laughs> Sorry, we can run it. Let's copy this. Let's go down and look at this other patch down here. Kind of see what that would look like. We've done a lot of expanding across the map tonight. The Last of Us uh, second one, just the second one for that one. It got a uh, re-release. Um, like an HD re-release, um, but yeah, it's it's finally getting another. Uh, it's finally getting a sequel, which I I loved the first one, and I'm really looking forward to that. Blow some of these cliffs out of the way here. This landfill still in our inventory. If we're not careful, we'll fill it up with trees. Oh, at least it's going into the trash slots. Alright, if we go to... Well, let's go ahead and clear these two. Yeah, we're good. 
if we paste and then rotate. We'll do something like that. Pretty sure that's out, but I'm probably just misinformed. Yeah, no, it's not out just yet. I've been waiting on that one. I think it's 2020. Um, there are a couple games I'm waiting for in 2020. How far would we need to... Oh, we are way down here. I don't think we're gonna get our robo ports all the way down here, so we're just gonna do the train track for now. We're gonna want the train to pull straight down. We're gonna have to do a bit of a zigzag up above us. Let's do a narrow, since we're gonna be doing this by hand. The train's gonna pull up right where we're standing. So let's have it turn here. Cut across. It's gotta make its way. Let's see. Oh geez. Okay, let's uh let's have it immediately turn downward here. Take out these trees. It's gonna take forever to cut these trees. Let's send back a bunch of these landfill pieces. Alright, well I guess they could set in our trash slots for now. Same difference whether it's the wood or the landfill sitting in our trash slots, but... Okay, let's let them clear this out a bit. We can maybe get another... Roboport over here while we're looking at it. Now they'll fly over and help. I want to clear enough room to, to bend the track down, see what that looks like for us. Oh, so many helpers coming. Hope they don't get attacked. Genji. Is there a new Genji game? Or a new game named Genji? I don't think I've played that one yet. Oh, here come some attackers. Are they timid? They're not sure yet? No, no, they're coming. Oh, see, I gotta be careful about this. Our robots are just flying across this, this corner here. They're gonna get attacked. A few of them might die while the biters make their way down to the wall. They'll stop and, yep at the robots. I wish I can give them like a no-fly zone. I don't think you could do that though. Yeah, see they're like having fun over here attacking them. We gotta fix that. Let's run back. Oh, Genji on Overwatch. Gotcha. I haven't uh, I haven't played much Overwatch either. I, I I see it. I see the appeal of it. But that's one one genre that I feel I get into it and then I fall out of it really quickly. So I haven't played a good uh, first person competitive shooter like that since Team Fortress. Really, not that it's not good. It looks beautiful. I love how Overwatch looks and I love how it has story and everything. Um, and I've got some friends that are like really hardcore into it. But uh, that's one I've never really followed. I don't want to move the wall up. We might have to. I swear it'd be great if we could just highlight the ground and be like, no go, robots do not fly across here. Well, in 
theory, again, they shouldn't be flying across here for very long. It's just because of this wood cutting job that we gave them. We'll just keep an ear out for the alarm. How many do we have in the system? 584 logistics, 738 construction. I think we're good for a while. We do have to turn the robots back on when it's time to make more, though. Okay, so when this curves down, it can curve straight down. Give it a bit of an angle, and then have it come down like that. Straight across here. We need to curve down through here. Yeah, like that. And straight down. We have iron here too, and we have all this iron, so we may have another train. We have to work out the logic of sending another train down here. My robots are so tired. You know what, just take all these out. Make sure this goes down a little extra. Even more a little extra, because we have to figure out which side. Or which uh, front or back two cargo trailers are going to be loaded here. See, this didn't get completed either. This trees get in the way. No, 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 not all that. Gotta go, little Odin. Well, thank you for joining. Come by any time. It's been a pleasure having you. Come hang out later. Also, yeah, if you want to see any of uh, any of the Red Dead playthrough stuff, you can catch it in my in my vods here on the channel, or also on my YouTube uh, channel, which is YouTube.com/offhandgames. But yeah, we'll see you around. So when it pulls up, it loads the back two. So when it pulls up down here, it's going to load the front two. That's good. I need, uh, need more train stuff. We don't need signals just yet. We need to stop. robots wanted to come see us. Can we get more? Okay, they're bringing us more tracks now. Need some more train stops, please. Okay, 
Still don't have them yet. I'm sure they're on their way. Yeah, here's some train tracks on the way. Most of the robots are busy taking away the stuff that I told them to take. There's still plenty left. Oh, oh, oh. See? These guys. Cut it out. That's just gonna be a never ending slaughter fest, so let's go help them. Back off. So I think for now, I'm just gonna put like four turrets. Each one with 200 bullets. Keep them off these guys. Makes this wall kind of pointless, but... We still don't have our train stops. If I'm gonna run all the way back to the train mall, There we go. They finally brought them to us. Well, we got a lot of activity going on. Let's just wait here for a sec. Look at all the birds. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna head back. These guys bring me ammo can care of that later. Well, we're almost done. Plenty of landfill, extra landfill. Front two cars. Wonder if we grabbed enough to complete this track. Maybe. Looks like it. So they need to be loaded like that. Who's this one? Daniel Harmsworth. All right, so loading. We can't see it. We didn't put down a radar. Chugga chugga chugga. We'll run back. Breaking force, our trains can go a little faster. Okay, the radars are all connected. Maybe get one down there too. I don't know, we need to get power lines. Oh, yes, we were coming to grab this. Perfect. 